What's up, you guys? I'm Mistake Jake, and welcome to another episode of Elite Dangerous. I am technically not going to be doing a whole lot of actual playing in the game, because I found that I can just use the Elite Dangerous actual website and the wiki to answer most of these questions. Now, I got a, I got a comment on my Guide to Combat video the other day that said, What would you say is the best combat ship? Uh, can you make a video on 2019 combat build? Um, I'm gonna go over that a little bit first. The The problem... The problem I'm seeing with the 2019 combat build is... Frontier really hasn't put out anything... For a while to do with combat, which is... Kind of annoying. I mean, no, I'm nothing against the exploration... Excuse me, and traveling and stuff like that. I, I like that. I've seen some really cool things going about and scouting around. But they haven't really added anything to the game as far as combat goes other than the Guardian blueprints for their weapons and stuff. That's it. <clears throat> no, I do not have those. I have not had the time to actually go out and get them. They're like 3,000 light years outside of the galactic bubble. And I just haven't, I don't have the time to just sit and play the game as much as I used to. So I haven't had a chance to ever go get them. And they've been out for over a year, and I just have never had the chance to go get them. That is the last type of weapon thing they put into the game. They have not added, hide that, thank you. They have not put any new weapons in the game. It's still basically the same crap that's been there for a couple years. Actually, I think it's been longer than that. I don't even remember how long it's been. I've been playing the game so long, I've never really noticed if something new pops in. I'm just like, oh, when did I miss that? So there is a chance that I may have missed a few things. I know that some of the factions offer specifics for uh, things like that, but there's not a lot being offered to people that like to play the game for combat. It's basic stuff. They keep adding random ships here and there, but they never give anything to the actual damage dealing component part of the ships. It's the same weapons. You can take anything, get it engineered, and make it do a crap tons of damage, even on something that's a medium size or small, and it eventually does a crazy amount of damage, but it's still the same flipping weapon that was there before. That's my problem I'm having with Frontier saying is they're so focused on the exploration, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, that they d haven't, they're not adding anything to the combat field for the people that like that. It's just exploration. They, there's not enough variety there as far as I'm concerned, and so at this point in time, combat builds for this year, unless they release some new weapons this year, I got nothing. Unless they release some sort of plasma repeater weapon for ships, big ships, which would be awesome. <clears throat> kind of like the uh, Condor and the Imperial Fighter and stuff like that. They have that plasma repeater. If they can make something like that bigger for the other ships, that would be cool. Because it's like a freaking random repeat weapon. It'd be a alternative to the multi-cannon, which would be awesome. So, I don't really think I can do anything for a build for 2019 because they haven't added anything yet. I'm going to keep an eye out for their next updates and stuff and see what they're adding to the game. That way, if they do, then I'll have something to work with. But, as far as the other part goes, which I already am having a problem remembering in the beginning, uh, the best combat ship. So that's what most of this is going to be. 90% of this video, if not all of it, is going to be between their website here and the wiki. Uh, go. Thank you. Ships. Tons of ships. How many ships do they have? I'm going to switch over to this real quick. Um, I changed this to put the ships into combat because you asked combat ships. Well, technically, there's... The multi-purpose ships are technically, they call them multi-purpose ships. They're technically a combat explorer ship. As far as I know, they don't, nope, they are separate. Okay, so that's why those are like that. So, eagles, we all know what an eagle is. Everybody's seen an eagle. Would I say these are the be that's the best combat ship? No, by far. It is fairly uh, weak. I would 
definitely say that it is not the best ship to use. Oh god, these damn commercials on here. But, uh, I mean, it's fast. Non-engineered specs. The thing is fairly fast. It would take a lot of crap to catch one of these. I mean, this one's actually pretty slow right here. I turned my mouse back on. I hope it's working so you guys can see what I'm messing with here. 397 max boost. I swear those things are faster than that. Maybe they are not. This thing is not working as well as I'd like it to, but let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, I see it here. Uh, regular boost speed and then max boost speed. The Imperial Eagle is faster. I've gotten that thing to go to 450 so I, without engineering, so I don't know. The Imperial Eagle. I saw a video. I don't remember who it was, and I wish I could because the link, I put it in the description. It's an awesome video where this guy in an Imperial Eagle... He engineered it so much that the amount of damage it did between two smalls and a medium hard point. Even with my best ship, I would have had a. It would have been annoying. It was like trying to smack a fly you just can't hit. It was just come in, blast, fly away, come in, blast over and over and over to the point where he was getting his kills that he wanted, and he was just doing it to be annoying. He wasn't even doing it to really kill anybody. He was just doing it to be annoying, but nobody could hit the damn thing. So I was like, that is crazy. So this ship is not bad for combat if it's engineered correctly. So is it the best combat ship? I don't know. It's definitely very good for a small landing pad, small size. <clears throat> so there's that. Vipers are considered a combat ship. They're pretty basic. They're almost identical to the... Cobra so that's a that's that's a good thought on its own um there should be more ships to look at here I haven't gotten to mess with this yet show me what this does some pictures some stats things got some crappy shields maneuverability is not so good I'll get it I'll get into more of this uh, in a minute use that thing to kind of look at some of the specs. That's actually really cool. I have not seen that. Um, the Vault Vipers, two smalls and two mediums. I mean, they're fairly tough. They're not bad. I mean, their armor on the four isn't too bad for its size of ship. It's actually just a little bit lower than the Vulture, and I actually think the Vulture is a pretty good ship to use. The problem I have with the Vulture is it only has two guns. Yes, they're too large, so if you put the right weapons on it, you're good. If you put some that uses ammo, if you're out pirate hunting or bounty hunting, you're going to be making, an, or even a conflict zone, that would be even worse because you're not going to be there for very long if you got anything that uses ammo because you can't replenish unless you got this stuff to synthesize more ammo in your uh, storage. That's the only way to keep your ammo back up while you're fighting. So that would be kind of a... Nuisance. I find the ship to be fun to use. It maneuvers pretty good. It does maneuver pretty good. Does this have the rest of the ship's uh, vulture? Show me this. That is awesome. I love that. It's armor. It says that. It's actually pretty tough. I didn't mind it. Its shields aren't the best, but with the right stuff on it, it's not that bad. I actually liked using this ship quite a bit. <clears throat> and there's only like two real problems that I have with it. It only has the two guns right here and right here. It's not fast, so it maneuvers pretty good. It actually does maneuver pretty good. But the shields are an issue with this ship. I've mentioned in my other video that using Biweave is my favorite thing to use because it does help it recharge a little bit faster. But the problem I see with using that on here, it's a waste of time. Because I'll tell you, I'll, let me explain. Because you might as well put the A-Class on it and engineer that thing and try to get it to do a fast recharge with that because it doesn't matter what you put on here when your shields break. I'm not saying just low, but if they break, you're going to be waiting like five minutes for it to do the red circle recharge thing before your shields come back. That is the down part I see with this ship. It has terrible shield regeneration if your shields break. So you might as well get the thing that will last the longest if you're going to use a vulture that is a problem that i see with that ship that's my biggest problem with that ship is its shields suck uh the chieftain 
I did a video on the combat on the Chieftain. That video has like 2,000 views or something close to that, or 1,000. I don't know. I, I haven't looked in a while, sorry. Um, I'm, I'm a busy person. I don't have time for everything. Uh, the Alliance Chieftain. I do... I do like the Chieftain. I'm a big fan of this ship. It's got tons of armor. Its shields suck. But it was designed to fight Thargoids, not people. But if you fix it up right, and I've done some pretty good work on mine, it says it's only got a four maneuvering. I think that's bull. I disagree with that. I disagree with that very much. It should be at least halfway or if not six. Because I can go almost full speed in this thing and just do flips and stuff in it. It turns on a dime. I love this thing. It has a pretty good weapon loadout. Is there anything? And it's got all kinds of cool stuff you can buy for it. Um, it's not showing me the hard point thing. I can't remember what this ship has on it. So it has uh, two large, a medium, and three smalls? Large, medium. Yeah, that's what it's got. So it's got a pretty good loadout for its weapons. It's not bad, and it does a lot of damage. And it can take tons of haul damage. So if you put the right gear on it to make its hull even higher, put the military grade hull plating on it and stuff, and then put all reinforcements, a few, you don't have very many slots on this thing I don't think, but put some module reinforcements in case your shields do drop, the thing can take the hit. This is a very good ship. I, I am a big fan of the Chieftain. It is a excellent ship to use. The Federal Assault ship, I have not used it. It, uh, it, to me, it seems like it's the, it's the Federation's version of a clipper. Because it has the exact same amount of weapons. It's got two mediums and two large. And it's about the, it's about the same speed, I think. Actually, I think it's a little bit slower. I, I never, I'm not a fan of the Federation's the shape of its ships. I don't like what they look like. Whether they're good or not, I'm more of a base off of what ships look like. That's my problem. I prefer what things look like because it's like, oh, I got the cool looking ship. Not, oh, it can do all this. It just looks awesome. I'm, I'm big into the aesthetics of a ship. So I can't really say a whole lot about Federal Assault Ship other than I think it's an identical version to the Clipper, except for it can't haul hardly anything because it's a combat ship. The Challenger, I can't remember if I ever tried that. I thought I had one at one time. I think the Challenger is the one that launches fighters? I don't remember. Maybe it's not. One of them launches fighters. I can't remember which one it was. It's either the Challenger or the... Crap, I don't remember. This one definitely does not maneuver as good. It's got a pretty good setup, but I never really got into it so much because I like my Chieftain better because it got rid of my large gun. Or it got rid of one of them, or both of them. I don't remember, but I didn't like the fact that there was a compensation between... Okay, it wasn't the Crusader. I think the Crusader... Is this the one that launches fighters? I don't think so. God, I can't remember. Yeah, this one launches fighters. This has, I don't even think this has any large guns on it anymore. I don't like that. So let's, let's give you fighters and take off, uh, your guns. <clears throat> Bad combo, uh, uh, Lacon. You guys made a cool looking ship that basically has a dolphin tail on it. It looks like the dolphin's tail. I did fly this thing. It's not bad. I don't like the weapon loadout, so that's one reason why I probably wouldn't use it as a fighter. But uh, it's not a bad ship. I do kind of like the Challenger. It was kind of cool. But uh, Federal Gunship, I know that they suck to fight against. That I do know. They are fairly... Uh, their maneuvering speed is terrible for a medium-sized ship. Not so good. Their armor is ridiculous, but their shields suck. I can't remember how many guns are on this thing. All I know is it has a pretty good loadout on it. As I said, it's a Federation ship. I don't mess with those too much. Fair to Lance. I have flown a Fair to Lance. I flew one for uh, quite a while. And I did, I did like it. It is fun to fly. That is a good combat ship. I definitely will say that. The uh, four mediums and one huge gun... If you put the right gun on the huge, it's definitely worth it. Its shields aren't bad, its armor could use a little work, 
it can't jump for crap, so if you're going to use it for fighting, you're going to have to have it hauled from system to system to system to get it where you want it to go. Because the thing has no fuel. You'd have to constantly keep removing crap to get it in there. But as far as fighting goes, because that's more or less what we're talking about here, it's not a bad ship. It's fast. I think it maneuvers a little bit better than that, but uh, it's very quick. It's very quick. The top speed... You, you put the right stuff on it. I got mine to go ridiculously fast. I mean, its top speed is 357. I think I got mine up to 45, 405, something like that. Not bad. Not bad. I liked it. It's definitely one of my favorite combat ships. Is it my favorite ship? Eh. The Corvette. I do have a Corvette, and I have issues with the Corvette. I have a few issues with the Federal Corvette. My biggest issues with it is the fact that it does say it has higher maneuvering. It does maneuver pretty good. I put I took my engineered stuff off my cutter and put it on here to see what it was going to fly and run like. Shields are pretty good. I'll give it that. It's got a pretty good weapon set up. The problem I have with it is that it doesn't have I think the two huge points is an issue. I don't agree with the two huge points because you're lacking firepower in your turrets. This to me is a ship that needs turrets. It's just as pain in the butt to maneuver around as the cutter, even though it does turn faster. If this thing was engineered correctly, I could see where putting a uh, gimbaled or fixed weapons on it would work if you could get the thing to bank fast enough. This is a good combat ship though, I'm, don't get me wrong, I do like the ship, but I have some issues with the ship still. But it is fun to fight in, I really do enjoy fighting with it, it's, I'm not going to say it's the best combat ship, and I have a reason for saying that, I'll get over that about, I'll get into that in a minute. The Asp Scout, the Diamondback Explorer, the Diamondback Scout. Technically, I always figured these is more of a multi-purpose ship because that's what it's listed as. I would not recommend using a Diamondback Scout for fighting. A Diamondback Explorer is not too bad. I fought with one for a long time. They're not too bad. But, again, I'm not going to say that they are the best. I'm not going to go over every single thing because it just doesn't make sense to do so. Typed in Defender. I have not tried that ship. All I know is it doesn't maneuver for crap. I know it doesn't. That's the one thing that I do know. Type 10. Type 10. There we go. It has tons of guns, though. That is one thing I do know about it. It's got a ridiculous amount of armor, has tons of guns, and they didn't even put a shield thing in here because this thing's shields suck. You might as well be flying a, a Sidewinder. This thing's shields are not that good. It's meant to fight Thargoids. It's not... A ship that needs to worry about shields. I definitely have not fl I have not flown one. I've seen a couple. <laughs> and it creeped me out a little bit. Because they're big and tough and they are hard to kill. But they can do a lot of damage. But that maneuvering speed and that top speed, they're basically just a, a tank. That's literally what it is. It's a slow moving tank. Not gonna say I can say whether it's really good for combat because I have not used one but I've seen better. Killback, I wouldn't use it as a fighter. It can launch fighters, but I wouldn't use it as a fighter. I don't think it would be a good idea. My brother has one of those and he's had issues with staying alive while flying in that thing. The Imperial Courier, now the multi-purpose ships. I actually find the multi-purpose ships to be more of a fighter than a hauler. I never really figured them as anything else. I don't know why, but I never really did. The Imperial Courier, though, I really, really, really like the Imperial ships. The thing I like about the Courier is that it's it's cool looking, for one. It looks like a fighter. It has no armor, though. It has no armor. So, its shields, actually, I think are better than this. If you can get the shields up, like, good with engineering, this thing can take a pretty good hit. And it's fast. Uh, I think the max boost is, like, four something without engineering. It's fast. This is a good ship to fight in. It maneuvers pretty good, and it can get away from a fight if necessary. This is a good f ship for combat, though, because it maneuvers that good. As long as you can keep your shields up and not have to worry about getting hit with stuff, 
this is a good fighting ship. I'm not going to say it's the best combat ship, but I definitely think for, for combat, this is a good ship. I've always liked using that ship specifically. Uh, the Sidewinder. That's a joke. That is not a fighter. Don't even try that. If you want to die, sure. But I wouldn't use it as a fighter. Adder, not a fighter. Sidewinder, not a fighter. Cobra, not bad. Not bad for a fighter. It's a four. I wouldn't uh, say it's definitely going to be great for big fights, but it definitely can hold its own for a while. The three is a little weaker than the four. I think it maneuvers better, and it's a little bit faster. But uh, the crate. Oh, the crate. I'm, I could drool over that ship. I could drool over the crate Mark II. And the reason for that is, is because it can launch fighters. It's got a pretty good haul. It's, or armor, whatever you want to call it, and its shields aren't that bad. And that maneuvering thing, that's wrong. I do not agree with that. It's another ship I do not agree with when it comes to what it, they think the maneuvering is. That thing turns way better than that. Unengineered. This thing turns way better than that. I think this is one of the best ships to use for combat. Because it turns quick, it can launch fighters, and it's loaded with weapons. Two mediums and three large. Loaded with weapons. Definitely re highly recommended personal opinion. For me, I would say highly recommended. I love that ship. Definitely one of the best. Clipper. Ooh, the Clipper, the Clipper, the Clipper. Let's find that old Imperial Clipper. I flew, I flew, I flew, I flew one of these for uh, like a year. I flew one of these around before the cutter was introduced into the game. Um... This video is going to be kind of long because it's a this is a discussion video. Thing's got a pretty good armor. It's fast. Its maneuverability is ridiculous for a large ship. I never figured out why it maneuvered so good for a large ship. I liked it originally because I was like, oh, it's shaped like a fighter from a different game that I played way back. Has anybody ever played Wing Commander Prophecy? Which would be Wing Commander 5? That was an awesome game and there was a ship in it that resembled the look of this. And I really, and that's what caught my eye on this ship. I was like, heck yeah. But it's got two mediums, two large. Its shields aren't the best. Work on them. Engineer, works pretty good. This thing is fast. This thing boosts to like 450 or something like that without engineering. This thing, I, I think. But this thing is quick. And it turns on a dime. Your momentum, your inertia still is going that direction. So if you like flip over, you're still going to go this way while facing that way. But eventually it'll catch up and shoot back. This is an excellent ship to fight in because it turns so quick. Maneuverability, I think, is a big thing when it comes to combat, specifically. Federal dropship. Never flown one. I hate fighting them. They're a pain in the butt. So if NPC ones are a sign of that they're good to use have fun with it it's not my cup of tea i've never not i've never not i've never used one let's try that instead pythons pythons are fun i do like flying a python it's got the same weapon loadout as a crate mark ii it can't launch fighters and it doesn't maneuver as good <clears throat> but i think its shields are its shields are almost 100 higher than the crate because the crate is 396 and a python is 468 and remember that's stock that's not uh upgraded uh it isn't it doesn't class change of materials it's just stock stuff here so that's why i like this site keeps what the basics are before you put anything on them or engineer the python is not as fast as the crate my crate does not boost at 337 it boosts at 420 so that, uh, I don't know where they're getting that from. The Anaconda, it's like using a Corvette. You gotta have turrets on it. Turrets are used to shoot crap that you can't see behind you. So technically for combat, if you can afford a big ship, get a big ship for combat because if you can get it fixed up, <clears throat> excuse me, engineered and all that crap, engineer your guns, your shields, your engines everything that you can possibly do even if it's the bare minimum you can last a long time with a big ship like that if your shields can take the hit and your distributor and your power plant are good you can survive without engineering your weapons as long as they can keep shooting you'll stay alive if your shields are engineered to a high enough point where they don't take hardly any damage 
you're doing pretty dang good. Uh, the dolphin, I'm skipping this one for a second. The dolphin would not use it to fighter. Orca, blue liner, highly not recommended. My channel is called Mistake Jake Gaming for a reason because I learned stuff from making mistakes. I decided to try using an orca one time because it had huge points or large points to fight with. That's a mistake. Don't do that. So, passenger ships, if you have to get into a fight, hope you got some good stuff because you're going to need it. I would not recommend these though. I mean, the Beluga Liner getting into a fight if necessary is not bad because it has tons of armor, but you better sure as heck be able to get out of there quick. Now, my... Basically, I'm going to say my favorite ship, but it's also extremely... The problem I have with getting large ships like this, the Anaconda, or the Corvette, it's boring. I would say it's boring. The reason I say it's boring is the fact that, yes, it has tons of weapons on it it has tons of haul it has tons of armor the shields are ridiculous on this thing it maneuvers like its butt it doesn't manu maneuver at all i've engineered this thing it maneuvers better than it ever has and it still is crap these big ships like this this ship has to have turrets if you're going to use it as a combat ship, it has to have turrets because it does not turn. I do like the fact it has another large gun over the Corvette, which helps because those two big guns will do more damage than your huge ones, which you can't get a lock on with. So that's a problem. So this ship has one huge on the front, uh, two mediums on the bottom, two mediums on top, and two large right here. So it has... Four mediums, two large, and a huge. So the thing's got a pretty good amount of weapons on it. My shields on this thing are like 3,000 something because of what I've done to it. It takes no effort. I launch a fighter, I just tell the ship to shoot crap on its own, and I just can, I literally could just fly in a straight line and it'll do all the work. This is an excellent ship for combat if it's fixed up. And you want to be bored because the problem with big ships, there's no effort. Once you fix one up to the point where it's where a mine is right now, there's no effort. It, it, a fight can be rather boring unless you pick a fight with a huge group of people. Not boring in a conflict zone, but pirate hunting, very boring. And so if that's what you're going to go do is go bounty hunting, don't use something like this. You might as well enjoy your fighting and you're trying not to hit asteroids. This thing is not maneuverable, bad to use in an asteroid field. Not recommended. But definitely good if you're going to go into conflict zones the ship is extremely good it's got tons of armor it's got tons of shields the thing is extremely good but it also costs a lot i think this is still the most expensive ship in the game yeah it's definitely the most expensive ship in the game the corvette's cheaper so there you go that's my ideas do okay so do which ship do i think is best for combat i can't say that i have no preference it's still technically a preference on the pilot whatever commander is flying whatever they're flying you could be flying a cobra engineered out the wazoo and it's the best ship that you have and you're good with it you don't die in it or anything i don't think there is a specific ship that is good for combat as far as the combat ships go if you want it my opinion on a combat ship i think is the best to fight with i think the chieftain is a good run or the fair de lance if you're looking for something that maneuvers good and you want to have some fun use something like that i would i highly recommend the chieftain it's definitely a excellent ship to fight and it's super fun to use uh, the Fair de Lance, good combat ship, can't jump for crap, the Chieftain jumps a little bit better. Uh, the Corvette, it's another one of those large ships, can be kind of boring unless you're in a conflict zone. Uh, I'm not too sure about the combat explorers, don't use them. The Courier, fun to use, not going to say it's the best idea because it's kind of flimsy if the shields break. The Crate Mark II, definitely. Definitely, and out of multi-purpose ships, definitely highly recommend it for fighting because it's fast, it maneuvers better than it says, and it's got a good weapon loadout and it can launch fighters. Definitely good. Definitely good. The Clipper, highly recommended. 
go to an Imperial space area, do a bunch of missions there, take the reputation, get your rank up, get that ship. It's worth getting. Even if you're not going to use it all the time, it's worth getting just for the fun of using it. It's an excellent ship to fight with. I recommend it very highly. The other multi-purpose ship I would recommend would probably be the Cutter or an Anaconda. Anacondas are good. I used one for a while until I could get my Cutter. But uh, if you're looking at this price here for a Cutter, you better have probably four times that much if you want to fix this thing up all the way because that's about what it's going to cost. 90% of my current assets in the game are shoved into this ship and it's like a billion credits or something it's ridiculous uh, just for that ship alone it's ridiculous that ship I my ship is worth 800 800 million or something like that it's worth a lot and I have like five other ships but that ship is expensive and there's a reason for it it's good to use but you got your options there what do you want to use for big areas Get something big. If you want to just do bounty hunting and pirating and stuff like that and shooting pirates down or just picking on other players because that's what you like to do, I guess. I don't know. Depends on who you are. There's a ship for everybody, and I cannot say one ship is better. My preferences of stuff I like to use, I like the Chieftain, I like the Crate Mark II, and I like my Cutter. Those are the three ships that I use most of the time. I don't even think I use hardly anything else. If I'm not in my crate, I'm usually in my uh, cutter. That's just how I play. Because depending on where we go, and I'm trying to help people get money by doing missions and going pirate hunting and stuff, if we're going to a hazardous area, then I need something that can help protect everybody, and so I take that. Because my buddy's ship that he has, um, he's got an anaconda, but he's still working on it. So it's not upgraded that much, so he can't afford to lose it because he doesn't really have any money. So I have to take this to compensate for that. So there are options for everything. I can't say one ship is better than the rest. But I definitely will say that I think the best combat ship is based on what you get good with. So I hope that kind of helps a little bit. Talked about a lot of stuff. I have no idea how long this episode was. <laughs> eh, it's been about 30 minutes or so. So it was. I think this was a good discussion video. It talks about a lot of what the game has to offer. And a lot of stuff I think the game should offer. Like I talked about at the beginning. But there's some options of what I think about some of several of the ships. What to use. What is worth fixing up. And stuff like that so let me know if this helped any of you guys out and gave you some ideas on what ship might be good for you what kind of money you have what your reputation is with the factions is also going to make a difference there are obviously tons of ships you can get that don't require a ranking like the crate that doesn't require ranking with federation or empire but it's not cheap either so there's a lot of different options of stuff to do, so let me know what you guys think and what your favorite ship is that you guys are usually flying around, because I'm actually interested in knowing what a lot of other people fly. I know what I fly. I know what my friends fly. I, I, I'm always curious to wonder what other people think their favorite ship is that they fly around is. So let me know what you guys fly around and how you like to do a loadout and stuff. Hope this helped you guys out. If it did, hit the like button down below. Click the subscribe button if it's red, because if it's still red, that means you're not subscribed and you're missing out on all my crazy videos that I do. Quite frequently, now I'm putting out more than I usually do, so click the bell icon so you know when I upload. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. See ya.